comedian David Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. So my sister-in-law and her husband left today. After a full month of being here, the house is now empty. Back to podcasting in the house. I did a fucking podcast today for like three and a half, four hours with some dudes. The Motley Brew Crew over there in the USA, Chicago. Well, some of them are in Atlanta, some of them are in Chicago. So that was three and a half hours. Had a good time. That will come out next week. Meant to be doing some other podcasts as well on Monday. Podcasts coming out the fucking wazoo. So I went to Hurricanes last night. Haven't been there since I was fucking kid. First time I've really been down to Bondi as well. And the place is so fucking foreign to me now. I used to actually hang around Bondi quite a bit. I fucking lived there. Just down the road from the Beach Road Hotel. My good man Shawnee, he was the fucking glassy at the Beach Road Hotel. And then the bartender. So he used to fucking hit me up drinks all the time. That's the only way I drank for like a fucking year. Was drink cards at the Beach Road Hotel. But now I go down there and I'm like, what the fuck is this joint? Bondi is the worst. Also used to drink at the North Bondi RSL all the time. That was the main place I used to go with my old man. To have a few fucking scooies and a fucking flutter on the horses. And then stumble down the hill. Not the fucking North Bondi RSL, the fucking diggers. The diggers near the fucking golf club where the beer was cheap and the sun was blaring. And then you would stumble down the hill to fucking get a bus into the city where the action's happening. Or Bondi Junction. Anyway, I was walking around there last night just going, what the fuck is this place? Who lives here? Who lives in Bondi? Narcissists and failed actors, that's who. That's who. And some people who bought houses in the 70s and never fucking relinquished them. Bondi is like the least fun place in Australia. Like to have genuine actual fun, don't go to Bondi. If you want to stand around and look kind of cool, but really not, head down to Bondi. If you're unimportant and you want to look like you're kind of important, Bondi is your place, baby. Bondi sucks. The fucking beach sucks. Everything sucks about Bondi. Anyway, Hurricanes, back to Hurricanes, the fucking bar and grill. The steak bar, ribs bar, grill fucking bar. Haven't been there in God knows how many years and I wasn't expecting much. I mean, I'm a fucking seasoned veteran of the travel world. I've fucking snacked and eaten all over the place. I know my shit now. So I'm like, what can Hurricanes offer me that is going to fucking blow me away? But I tell you what, they do a half rack of ribs and a steak combo there. That's what I got when I was young, and it's still on offer there. The price is pretty much tripled, but it's still there. Half a rack of pork ribs with a fucking little bit of a barbecue sauce glaze and a 350-gram rump steak. wasn't cheap. It was $71, but thankfully, I wasn't paying. So I wasn't expecting that much, but I fucking tell you what, that steak was fucking incredibly good. It was just a fucking rump, but they fucking cooked it to perfection. I eat my steak rare. Just fucking give it a little bit of a sizz on each side and just send it out to me bloody. I don't give a fuck. Just season it. But it was good and the ribs were fucking good and I left there and I could barely fucking walk. It was as good as I remember and maybe even better. I was fucking impressed. But I'm a simple man. I don't need anything that fancy to be impressed. I'm a meat and potato guy at heart. Deep down, I'm just a fucking three veg, a potato and meat kind of guy with gravy. White pepper on the gravy. I fucking love these Saturday podcasts because no one really listens on Saturday. And I can just say whatever the fuck I want. I can bore you to death. It just doesn't matter and I don't care. Saturday is like me taking a day off. I'm not even trying on Saturdays. I'm just fucking looking at shit now. There's a fan in my room because it's been so fucking hot here and there's no air con. And I'm looking at the fan 
and the wings on the fan or the blades, they're covered in like this black fucking dust. No, it's not fucking dust. It's like dust mixed with other shit. It's like a grimy black shit on the wings, on the blades. And that wasn't there like a week or two weeks ago. And it's thick. So is that what's going on in the air? This thick fucking black, dusty, fluffy, grime shit? Is that what we're inhaling every day? I thought it was just in India. I didn't think it was this bad in Australia, but it's fucking... There's something going on. Are they chemtrailing us? They are, aren't they? They're trying to change the fucking atmosphere so the aliens can come in. I haven't looked in or thought about chemtrails in a long time, but every time I do see a plane leave those long white fucking trails across the sky, the ones that don't dissipate, like I know planes leave contrails and you can see those and they disappear pretty quickly. But are those contrails as well, the ones that don't disappear, that fucking just like hang around for like an hour? Are they the same, are they? Are they definitely the same? Because I do look up sometimes and I try and talk myself out of it. I'm like, it's just a contrail. Look, it's just a contrail that's staying there for fucking an hour and spreading like a cloud. Don't be a conspiracy theorist. Look, it's fucking a contrail. And now I'm coughing and I'm blinded. No, I've got no idea about chemtrails, but I do look at those fucking trails the plane leaves behind sometimes and I'm like, what exactly is that? I'm more than happy for it not to be chemtrails, but I just want to know why sometimes the contrail like dissipates real quickly and it doesn't go all the way across the sky and then other times the contrail lasts for like an hour and spreads. I mean, that would probably take a 10-second Google to figure out, but it's better to be a little bit suspicious than not suspicious at all, isn't it? Keeps you on your toes, keeps you sharp, keeps you questioning. All I know is I don't like that grime on the fucking blades of this fan. I don't like it at all. If I'm breathing that shit in, I'm not happy. Anyway, that is fucking it tonight. That'll do... If you're enjoying the podcast, give it a share around, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you the fuck later.